Hi, I'm Kathy Hochul. All my life I've considered public service to be a privilege. As a young person, I was influenced by President Kennedy, was inspired by Martin Luther King, and always worked for Democratic leaders. I worked on Senator Moynihan's first race and later as an attorney for him in Washington. There I helped write a law that gave path to citizenship to millions and helped draft campaign finance reform bills. I thought that experience would be the highest honor of my career. My husband and I returned to Buffalo to raise our children. I became involved in local issues with my mother. We fought hard for the local businesses in our town. And I finally realized I could do much more for people if I stepped up and actually ran for office myself. So I did something I never thought I would do. I ran for local office to stop over development by big box stores like Walmart and fought hard to preserve the character of my community. After 14 years of fighting for my community, successfully challenging the New York State Thruway Authority, telecommunications providers, big developers, and even boycotting Exxon to protest high gas prices, I became the Erie County Clerk. And then, a congressional seat unexpectedly opened up. In the most Republican district in the state of New York, I campaigned hard to fight the Paul Ryan Tea Party budget that would have decimated Medicare and left our seniors out in the cold. Against all odds, I won. It was an honor to serve in Congress. And despite the politics of my district, I never backed down from our core democratic values, pro-choice, pro-marriage equality, and pro-worker values. I narrowly lost my re-election bid because I wouldn't turn my back on the president and millions of Americans who deserve quality health care. And now, I find myself with a unique chance to return to my passion, fighting for the underdog, challenging the status quo, and using all my energy to once again embrace the words of Senator Paul Wellstone, who once said, politics is not about power, it's not about money, it's about the betterment of people's lives. Believe me, as someone who had a progressive record in the most Republican district in the state, I know these issues are not rewarded at the ballot box, but they are the morally right stands to take. Just as the SAFE Act, the DREAM Act, and the entire 10-point women's equality agenda are the right stands to take. And that's why I'm back, and I was so honored to be asked to run with our governor, Andrew Cuomo. And that's why I'm asking for your vote. So together, we can continue to serve the people of this great state by moving New York forward. Thank you.